Heidi ho, matey. Today, we are going to read a little Einstein's Pirate's Treasure, written by Marco Kelman and illustrated by Andy M. There we go. Doo, 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 doo. Says, little Einsteins were playing dress up in the rocket room. Oi, them hearties, Quincy said in his best pirate voice. I spy a treasure map over yonder. Yo ho ho, shouted Annie. A treasure map could mean only one thing. June carefully studied the ancient scroll. Hmm, according to this map, we need to steer around four buoys and sail over a huge wave and then do some island hopping to get to the buried treasure. Annie was puzzled. How do you know where the where to find the buried treasure? Because X always marks the spot, answered Quincy. Can you find the X on this treasure map? Let's see. You see it? Oh, there it is. Do you see it? There it is. Wow. Let's see what happens. The team followed the treasure map sailing around all four buoys, but they ran into trouble once they reached the big wave. Boy, me scowled Quincy. What is Big Jet doing here? Arr, groaned Jane. Big Jet is the least of our worries. The treasure map just fell overboard. Quick, Rocket, go into submarine mode. Captain Leo commanded. Underwater, the team soon learned that they had to complete a scavenger hunt before going after the map. Can you help them to find the orange fish, five sea stars, four sea turtles, three seahorses, two crabs, a jellyfish, and a lobster? Well, let's start with the orange fish. Do you see the orange fish? Hmm. Well, these are orange fish. Is that what they're talking about? Let's see. Five sea stars. Do you see five sea stars? Right, there they are. One, two, three, four, five. Four sea turtles. You see the sea turtles? There they are. One, two, Three and four is right there. And three seahorses. <gasps> Do you see that? The seahorses. Do you see them? One, two, three. Two crabs. Hmm. Do you see the crabs? Do you see the crabs? One, two, and a jellyfish and a lobster. Hmm. Oh, there's the jellyfish. Where's the lobster? Do you see a lobster? Da 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 da, bump bump. Da 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 da, bump bump. Is that the lobster? There he is. Da 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 We found them all. Good for you. High five. After the scavenge hunt, a friendly dolphin appeared. The dolphin keeps swimming around Rocket. I think he's trying to tell us something, said Annie. Maybe he knows where the map is, suggested Leo. Let's use Rocket's look and listen scope to pick up the animal, the sounds that he's making. Rocket picked up the dolphin's secret message on the look and listen scope, but it looks as though the letters are missing. 
or some of them are, using the letters A, E, I, O, and U, can you help decode the message the dolphin is sending to the team? Can you see it? Well, you could put an E right here and that would make the, put an A right there and that would make map, put an I right here, which would make is, the map is, put an I right here and that would make in, the map is in, Put an E right there, the, put an I right here, I mean a U, sunk, so we have the map is in the sunk, oh, and an E there, sunken, and an I right here, ship. The map is in the sunken ship. <gasps> yes! Or on the sunken ship. Let's see. Dun, 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 dun. Ooh, here we go. Looks like we're not the only ones who figured out Dolphin's message, but Jet is headed straight for the sunken ship, cried Leo. That scallywag, we've got to get to the map before he does, bellowed Quincy. Who will get to the map first? Lift the flap and find out. <gasps> Who do you think? Who do you think? Are you ready? Oh, whoa! Did you know? June has a plan to get the map back. Will you help her carry it out? Great. First, flap your arms and pretend you're a fish swishing through the water. Like this. Right? Okay. Next, scrunch up your lips as though you are about to give a kiss. Did you do it? Smack! And make a very loud smooching noise. Ready? Great job, everybody. You're all doing kissy fish dances. See? See them? It worked! The dance attracted a school of kissing fish. And they're all busy distracting Big Jet with a flurry of kisses. Will the kisses be enough to make Big Jet lose his grip on the map? Find out by lifting the flap. What do you think? We're getting closer to the buried treasure, said Annie. We just need to hop over a few islands. Okay, Rocket, it's time to use your pogo bounce, bouncer, ordered Captain Leo. Let's hop to it, said Quincy. Land ho! How many hops will it take to get to the buried treasure? I don't know. How many do you think? Should we count them? One, two, three. Yep, three hops. Good job. Look, the team found the spot. Let's celebrate by singing with Annie. Yo ho, yo ho, let's do a pirate jig. The X marks the spot. For the treasure we will dig. Yo-ho, yo-ho. 
There is no time to rest when the pirates are in search of the buried treasure chest. Yeah, that was lovely, wasn't it? Anyway, Rocket used his super scooper to dig where X marked the spot. And he uncovered the buried treasure chest. Leo beamed with pride as Rocket ret retrieved the chest. I knew you could do it, Rocket. What do you think is inside the chest? Open it up and find out. What do you think? What do you think? Are you ready? There we go. One, two, three. <gasps> what is it? What is it? Oh, it's a music instrument, I think. Do you think? I think. <gasps> Ooh, we. It was, oh, I was close, I was close. It was a nautical whistle, toot toot, blew Quincy. When Quincy stopped blowing the whistle, something magical appeared in the sky. A rainbow, how marvelous, gasped June. Well, sugar me timbers, laughed Leo. Now that's what I call a colorful adventure. Mission complete, said Leo. See the rainbow in the sky? What a swell adventure, huh? I hope you enjoyed helping them find their buried treasure. Love you. Have a great day.